It was exactly 30 days ago when the Hamas unleashed carnage in southern Israel. From the ground, air and the sea, Hamas terrorists killed nearly 1,400 Israelis. Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, ordered an all-out invasion of Gaza. A month on, Israeli forces have now surrounded Gaza city. Over 200 hostages continue to be in the Hamas's custody and the theater of war seems to be expanding. <laughs> One month since Israel was caught by surprise. One month since over 1,400 Israelis were murdered. One month since Hamas terrorists brought the Jewish state to its knees. What has followed has been a month of an awakened beast. A grieving but galvanized Israel has been on an uninterrupted campaign of retribution. Pounding Hamas strongholds in the Gaza Strip mercilessly. The end game, total obliteration of Hamas, remains elusive. But Israel says it has managed to kill at least 3,000 Hamas terrorists. We are uh, targeting their infrastructure that is unfortunately embedded in civilian uh, structures as well, and underneath them, and they're hiding under population, using them cynically, using them as human shields. So it's, it's not an easy mission, as you can imagine. It's not an easy mission. This is why we have ground forces in Gaza right now. Israel's ground offensive into the Gaza has thus far killed at least 37 IDF soldiers. And with the Israeli tank forces now at the doorstep of the sprawling Hamas stronghold of Gaza City, the most difficult part of this battle now lies ahead. Gaza is a massive ground operation of the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces and they are taking a bite after a bite from what was under Hamas control. And slowly, slowly, they are going to take over the Gaza Strip. I don't know yet what will happen after that, but I'm sure that uh, Gaza City will fall very soon to the hands of the IDF. Most believe that Israel would be able to wrap up its Hamas hunt in a month. But with Gaza split in the middle, and the Hamas still making use of its vast tunnel network to keep the Israelis at bay, a long and hard campaign of urban warfare looms large. And while Israel presses on in the Gaza Strip, the architects of the Hamas terror attack continue to evade capture, sitting in foreign havens. For a month now, the battle has remained confined to Israel. But with Israel's fronts, with Lebanon and Syria hotting up progressively, could the coming months see this war explode beyond Israel's borders? Bureau Report, India Today.